lights out as I come through. Busting in your line, cracking helmets in. I bring the pain, so what you gon' do? Stand there and just get shook out your So clean out your locker, I'm out to get ya. Cause I just popped ya. You can't take the pressure. You might as well quit, cause you just can't last. Mad at 2000, put your face in the crack. And your pride in the dirt, so put on a skirt. If you come on the field and don't wanna get hurt, just bruised and beaten, all black and blue. And it's been like that since Madden 92. You better come harder than hard, rougher than rough. Put up your guard, get ready to crush. It's things on this field that you just can't change. EA Sports is in the game. What you want? The rock in the palm of my hand. What you got? I got time, What you want? The rock in the palm of my hand. What you got? I got Show. Welcome to the Big Unk Podcast. We got a special guest. We bringing out to y'all tonight. Xavier Magic Thomas. You know what I'm saying? Good. What up, though? We'll be acquired Nickelback for the Houston Texans. Yeah. Good yeah. with you, bro. Sure, bro. We got LeBron. Same old. Man. Nickelback for the Houston Texans, man, newly acquired, man. But we've been doing this football thing for a hot minute, man. He done stopped in with us, and we just gonna chop it up with him. So, you know what I'm saying? The football life. That's a real life NFL yeah. player y'all yeah. looking at, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, so what got you into uh, sports or football? Or- Stay away from home. <laughs> okay. So my nice. parent, my mom, she was always hard on me and shit like that. So she to get away from her, I just grinded and stayed playing sports. Mm-hmm. And I fell in love with football to take out anger. I couldn't take out anger on nobody in the household, so I took it out on fucking people in football. <laughs> it's gangster. Man. Hey, yeah. man, flip that neighbor to a positive, man. Mm-hmm. So, That's a real thing, man. So what was your first experience? Like, was it... Like, was it first, like, playing, or was it watching football? Watching. So, my best friend, Eric. Mm-hmm. Eric and Pacaya were really Eric. I used to always be with Eric every weekend. And he played on the West Side Cubs. Shout out to the Cubs. You feel me? Okay. So, he played on the West Side Cubs or whatnot. And my mom, she ain't had the money to pay for me to play. Mm-hmm. That was my best friend. So, I used to always go to his games. And, like, after the games, stuff, I used to always play pick and mess them up. And then the coaches were seeing it, seeing me playing, John. And then the next year... Um, they told my mom, like, just pay us half and we'll pay all the rest. Okay. And okay. they did that for me. And then so I just got better and better each and every year. So you would say they saw the, the talent in you already where they were willing to put up money or mm-hmm. cut you short to get you in. They must have saw <laughs> yeah, something in sure, yeah. that. Like, hey, about what, about what age do you remember? I was probably like nine. I was probably like nine. Right. They, they seen it in you already at that. Already, nine man. years old. Did you have any favorite players at the time in the NFL, or was it just yeah. watching your man and them just get down? You wanted was, to just be out was, there with them. I, w- I wanted to be like Pakaya. So my, okay. one of my other friends, Pakaya, so okay. Pete, you can call him Pete. I wanted to be just like him. Like he juked okay. everybody, he did everything. Like he was well, let's go. He was scoring yeah. like four yeah. touchdowns a game type shit. Okay, yeah. so he's scoring. But NFL wise, shit, Barry Sanders. Okay. I thought nobody yeah. better than Barry. Yeah. Barry, yeah. Barry, yeah. Barry, yeah. Barry, yeah. Barry, yeah. Barry, I was an offensive guy. Like I really ain't. We really looking to defensive guys like that, but one guy that caught my eye was Dion. Okay. Dion was real good because he played both sides of the ball, and stuff, so he was real good. But Barry Sanders for real, that was my okay. dog. So how was you on the on the Cubs? What was your Cub history like? As a youngin, as a youngin, I just played all defense. Like I was, a, I was animal on defense. We had like the number one defense every year because we had me, Jordan Lewis, Dez McCain, Malik McDowell. Like all these, like it's so many Terry Richardson, whole bunch of dudes. They all are in the NFL right now too. So okay, shout out to my brother. That's That's dope awesome. too, right? So our whole defense really, with either basketball or football, they made it in some type of league. So y'all was so cool. Yeah, we mm-hmm. was athletic as hell. Everybody was athletic. Most of them played both sides of the ball. I just played defense. The oh, whole, right. Like I played all defense until I got to my last year on B team. And then that's when I started playing offense. And I fell in love with offense. Even though I love defense, but I fell in love with offense. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Did you um, end up going uh, to after that? After that, I went to Allen. 
I want. I didn't want to go to Cass Tech and all that with all the rest of them. I was tired of playing with them. Okay. We were playing together for about eight years. So I was like, I'm done. Uh, and that's where then, most of them wind up going. Yeah, they all went to um, Cass. And then mm-hmm. Tino, my brother Tino and my brother JT, they was going to Allen. And I wanted to be like Tino. So okay. I just went there and she never looked back. I just stayed there. I got cool. I was close with all my friends. Then Eric and Pakai was there, my two best friends. So it was like, it was oh, what it is. So just went there and just. Shit, give me a low. How was the football life in, in high school? So, or sports life period? <laughs> so, 10th right grade on? year, my t- my sophomore year in uh, high school, I broke my ankle the first game. Well, the game, well, I fractured it, but it was fucked up. Right. Fractured my ankle, so I ain't played that whole year until the last game. Last game, I threw like four touchdowns. All the PD. Oh, you can say that you, you was, was on defense. What you mean you threw four touchdowns? I played quarterback in high school. Oh, <laughs> okay. so, I was like, I so what made you get into the the quarterback when you so used to playing defense? Like, what made you say, I'm going to be a QB? I ain't going to lie. It was the girls. Like, the girls don't watch defense. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then my girl, I had the coldest girl in high school. So her name, I ain't going to say her name. But mm-hmm. I had one of the coldest girls in high school. <laughs> and then, mm-hmm. shit. I wanted to play offense. I'm like, I'm gonna play offense because scoring touchdowns is the only thing people see. They don't okay. see that. It's making tackles and so stuff like that. You just want to be the man. So you was the man. man. Right. Okay. I, was, I was the man. So you put four touchdowns up that last game? The last game off the injury? Straight from my ankle. Threw four touchdowns to Petey. And that was, was you said sophomore season? That was my sophomore season. Then okay. my junior year. <clears throat> um, sophomore year, we weren't good. We probably won like three games. That's when JT was the quarterback, JT. So JT was quarterback. Brother, yeah, that's my brother. That's my brother, brother. So JT was quarterback. He had we had an old line, so he was getting sacked. He went fast like me, so he couldn't get away. Mm-hmm. But we weren't that good. We probably won like three, four games. Okay. And then my um, junior year, we got a little better. We probably won five games. Okay. I played offense and defense, and then senior year, that's when we did real good, and we went like seven and three, made it to the playoffs, lost the second round. Two games before state, so yeah. And up um, out of high school, shit. I wanted to go D one or whatnot, but I couldn't get an eighteen on my ACT. So oh, okay. everybody pulled their offers on me in the last <laughs> little moments. Oh, so that matter. Huh? Yeah, one of the ACT, and I wanted to go to Iowa with Desmond, mm-hmm. which we played on the Cubs when he was going to Iowa. That was one of my close friends, so I was gonna go there with him, but I couldn't get an eighteen. So, uh, Allen was a charter school. Okay. So, it was chartered by Ferris State. So, they gave me a scholarship for my grades. I had like a 3-8 overall. Oh, wow. School. Man, um, so it don't even matter. Like, the grades was ridiculous. Right. It, it, it was, was just the ACT scores. It's just what kept you out of being from D1. Yeah. Well, you was smart and can do all I just couldn't take them tests. I don't want to take them tests. I couldn't do them tests. Okay. But, so, with the Ferris, just... My goal was to stay there for one year and just um, leave if I bought out, leave mm-hmm. or not. But I, I was redshirted the whole year of my freshman year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was going to be our, first, our next question. What was it like being a walk-on? Yeah. That oh, yeah. Like, yeah. you was a walk-on. Like, you weren't <laughs> yeah. even, you can't even in demand to the spot. So mm-hmm. that's. I went straight as soon as I got there, I went to the rock. I was with Petey because Petey had a full rock uh, scholarship for basketball. So, there, so that's another reason I was like, I'm going to Ferris. My best friend, there, I'm going. Okay. So I went there, and he had a full ride. I went, we was in the Rock eating, and I seen the head coach, Coach Elise. I walked up to him and asked him, like, shit, can I walk on? He's like, oh, who are you or whatever? I told him who I was. I was out of and stuff. He's like, um, oh, you the, um, Tavier kid. Something like that. Something like that. He's like, don't you have a, um, a, a friend, a kid that goes here? I'm like, yeah, Kai. So he like, yeah, I want you to show up tomorrow in the field at this time early in the morning. Show up. I don't think they're going to have me working out and stuff. He's like, I just want to see you. I show up. You're on the team. Oh, so, wow. You got a spot like that. You automatically. <laughs> so they heard about you from high school. My, my, like, and Blake, the director kept calling when we said, like, kept calling. I got this kid. I got this kid. I got this kid. <laughs> Coach Vies, the film, the film was right. terrible. My high school film was terrible. Mm, okay. My mama was recording that. So he mm. filmed, So it was like. He couldn't, he couldn't offer me off of that, so just got my opportunity and ran with it. I see, because you went from being a walk-on 
Oh, cause you, uh, this is a nice little list of uh, <laughs> accolades right here. Right. I see two time first team Great Lake Athletic Conference. Yeah, all conference two years. Okay. Uh, two time yeah. first team Division two All American. All American. A third team Little League American by the Associated Press. Yeah. And conference defensive back of the year. Yes, sir. <laughs> now with that, like. Of the year, yes. out the whole conference. What do it take to win a, a award like that, bro? Like catch all the interceptions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was catching a lot of interceptions. I probably had like nine by um junior year. I probably had like nine or ten. Mm. And then shit, I'm a bigger tackle. Yeah, the, scoring I got the question, like, what do it feel like when you out there? Like when you getting suited <laughs> up and you. You finally run through the run out there on the field. You touch that field. Is it just like you yeah. super focused? Is it like I'm hyped at first, but then right before the ball kick off, I'm, I'm just focused. All, All right. I'm thinking about is my son. Really, mm-hmm. I got nine more of those. So only thing I be thinking about on the field when I go out for a game or something. Shit, my son watching, so I got to do something okay. good. Something. Okay. Sixty though, tackles, four interceptions. 18 deflections. We get that award. How you how you feel about that? I mean, I know you had to be proud of yourself like I did. That, see, back, like, see, I never really, I never looked at that yeah, stuff. Yeah, we do so homework like, around here. I ain't yeah. never really looked at it. But so like, was it a heifer, like, was it like a goal to do that? Or did you just play that good and it just like, just oh, I'm just a man. You were like, just oh. playing to... <laughs> Like, whatever happened, I'm going out here, I'm about to play my best, however it ended up. It ended so, it's like, like, at first I didn't believe. I used to always say, like, I'm going to go to NFL, I'm going to go to the NFL. But I never believed it mm-hmm. until my, some of my teammates from Ferris, they got an opportunity. It was um, Jake Lampner, uh, Brady Sheldon, Jason Vendor. Shout out to them, too. Oh, yeah, them, I, I'm going to all the parties with them tonight, too. So, <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so, um, they got a shot because they were a little older than me. They were, like, two years older than me. They got a shot my sophomore year. And ever since then, it's like, I believe, like, I can get a shot. I right. A shot. Like, like, dang, they got seen. So, I know there's so at least some guys around here. My junior year, I balled. Went All-American. First team All-American. Mm. Then, uh, that junior year, going against Grand Valley State. i never seen the NFL scouts in my junior year. Went to Grand Valley State. We played them on ESPN. We caught three interceptions. Oh. That next practice, every NFL scout was there watching. Oh, wow. So it was like, what did that feel was, like knowing you on ESPN and you just went off? Man, I don't. And we lost. I, that's crazy. <laughs> that's, we had, I had three right. picks and we lost. They had a running back, Marty Carter. Mm-hmm. He'd be in the NFL right now, but he ended up um, getting shot or something. He paralyzed. Oh, man. That's my dog. He was admirable. That's the best running back I've ever seen in Division Two. Like right. yeah, I didn't win against. So yeah, he would he was going to NFL for sure. But they had him, he was scoring every play. He was, <laughs> he was right. a running back, so it was like it's not a lot I can do for the corner. Right. So he was real good. So how was it juggling college life and just college life period? Family and school and friends. You said girls, you only got into this for the girls, so right. you know what I'm saying? So how was it like, you know, trying to keep the grades up and all of that kind of stuff? Yeah, you had to keep your grades up because our grades, yeah, yeah you grades, lost the grades. Grade, so. so like, and then like, it was always no disrespect or nothing. I'm not a racist or anything like that. But like, on my team, it was always the smartest people, and they was getting all these accolades for being smart. Where my white teammates, which is my brothers, we all real close to each other. It was always them. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I want to be up there. Like, I want to mm-hmm. be up there. Right. So. Me and one of my closest friends, my son, guy named Chris. Me and Chris, we had all A's because we wanted to be up there with them. So right. it was like, we got to do good for football and we want to get these accolades right. like them. Okay, right. So, like, That's we fun. just did that. And just but with family, I just left family alone. Like, when I went to college, I just, you feel me, I focused on college. Which I felt on. like I could go to the NFL, like, my junior year. Mm-hmm. I never came home. Summertime, I was always there. It was, was focused just focused. to grind. Right. I had to make right. yeah. That's Got what my whole together. goal was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So draft night or draft day, what was the process in that? And uh, did you enter the draft? And yeah, what's that whole even process of right. from college to the NFL? After How my, you do that? After my senior year, that was my last year of eligibility because I burned my red shirt as a freshman. Okay. 
Uh, my last year eligibility, I knew I could. I was I had an agent, so I got with my agent Justin Vandalaw, who's still my agent now. Just got me a big contract, so. Yeah, shout out to Justin. Hey, do he do TV contracts? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so Justin, I signed with Justin. He came to my house. Mm-hmm. He kicked been straight up with me. He said. So I'm gonna sell your film. If they like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. Then I'm gonna get back to you. You straight up with me, JT, my brother, and my mom. It was just us three there. Mm-hmm. And I signed with him because I felt like uh, I could trust him. To this day, he ain't never did no shady stuff to me or nothing for money or nothing. He always there for me, looking out for me and stuff. Mm-hmm. So signed with him. And then after that, I started grinding, getting to the um, combine training and stuff. Okay. I was doing all that, the combine, the pro day training, and combine training and stuff. I ended up, didn't get an offer to the Reese's Bowl, the Senior Bowl. Okay. It was, I was getting offers to all the other ones, but not the biggest one. I mm-hmm. wanted to go to the biggest one. I felt like I was the best in D2. Okay, right. As right. a defensive player, and I didn't get a shot. So, I it, it's crazy because I emailed them. The Reese's, the Senior Bowl. I, <laughs> I still got the Senior. I still got it. Okay. So I, said, I said something like, uh, what did I say? I feel like I deserve a um, right. spot or whatever in the, in the bowl or whatnot, but y'all gonna regret it. My mm. exact words. To this day, I still got the email on my phone somewhere. It's in my phone. <laughs> in my email. <laughs> Shoot. I, I train. Mm-hmm. Some days, I, after train, I have to send a card ask myself, like, is this what I want to do? Mm-hmm. I can be tired as hell. I want to see in progress with my 40 yard dash and, or whatnot. But shit. I was doing all that. And, mm-hmm. So I just said, fuck it, I'm going to just do it. And just trust my trainers, Jim Cabasso and Nate. Trusted them. My pro day came at Michigan, University of Michigan. Mm-hmm. I ran a 4-3-2, a 4-3-5. And after that, the sky was the limit. Damn, you burned it. <laughs> I really, really. <laughs> so I thought, I'm thinking like I'm going to get drafted like six, seven rounds because Division two. Okay. I ended up getting drafted. Yeah. I, was a little, I was a little down, but five minutes later. My age of call. Every team wants you. You got to choose right now. You have five minutes to choose. Which team oh, you want wow. To. Every so team. I chose. <laughs> so I chose Arizona. I went to Arizona Cardinals. Mm-hmm. They gave my first opportunity. So what made you choose Arizona or rip out of all the teams? Like you could have went anywhere. Patrick Peterson. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Patrick Peterson. I thought okay. you had five minutes. Arizona, hey, shit. Just take me. Any I went American. to a top 30 visit there. I went to a top 30 visit there. So like they top thirty prospects, I was one of them. So right. I loved it. When I got there, I loved it. I loved the food. I loved the place. Okay. It was hot, far away. I need to be far away from home. Mm-hmm. But shoot, I went there and shit. Shit, uh, Pat P. I love Pat P. I see. I had on his wristband when I got up there, and I told okay. him. I showed him like I got your wristband. <laughs> okay. like, it's crazy because he brought me some more when I got right. signed or whatever. Mm-hmm. He brought me some and stuff. So it was like. I love Pat P, so that's, that's why I went there. So you spent yeah. about four or five months in Arizona, yeah. and then what? Shit. It was going to put me on the practice squad. Mm-hmm. So everybody put me on practice squad. Mm-hmm. I'm like, shit, I don't care. I'm signing a contract. Practice squad. As long as I go home, people can be in my face. Oh, you got cut, all this. We're going to put practice me squad. Anywhere. Put me yeah. anywhere. I'm getting Fact. paid still anywhere. more than having people back <laughs> home anyway, so I don't care. Just put me there. I ain't going. I ain't trying to go home. Mm-hmm. So I about to sign a contract, my agent called me, like, you ain't heard the news? I'm like, what? Like, the Browns just claimed you on the 53-man roster. So I'm like, what? So I got a phone him, the, the Brown GM called me, John Dorsey. I'm like, yeah, Tyreek, we're about to fly you out right now. You're on the 53. You got to get ready to play on Sunday. <laughs> Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Because that's fast. <laughs> that's, that's too fast. That's exactly how it happened. So you about to sign the contract, your agent called you and say, have you heard the news? And... So you, you just been signed to Cleveland. Yes. So you was about to be on Arizona's practice squad. Practice squad. But the then Browns you got a claim. phone call to make Ari- to make the Cleveland roster. Right. Okay. Yeah. The way you play it. Okay. Just that fast. Quick. I was flying out like 30 minutes later. So you right on the <laughs> you was on the line. All I took was draws. <laughs> it's a draw. I didn't yeah. take no suitcase. It's a draw. I was going to ask you. So, what's the process? Because now you stay in Arizona for like four, or five months, and then you got to get on a plane and be ready to play with this team in a week. And your first game was what? About a week later on the night. Yeah. When you later, sit later. down, do they have everything for you? Like the apartment, the place they in, put you in the hotel. hotel at first. I was in the hotel for about a week. Then on that Sunday, 
Before I even got my check, the third the third day of Cleveland, I told my agent, I need this truck. Got a three dollar two. Before I got my first check, I told him, I need this, <laughs> I need this car. Okay. So I ended up getting a Durango or whatever. Mm-hmm. My agent, uh, he co-signed for me, so I got a Durango. I was still in the hotel, but I had that Durango. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, hey, you was Durango, that's my favorite truck. I ain't so like two, two, three weeks later, I ended up getting an apartment. Mm-hmm. But then shit, never looked back from there. Never. Right. Wow. Oh, yeah. So you didn't even know, like, as far yeah, you couldn't have knew because you're not finna right. be sitting there signing oh, your practice that's squad. Yeah, the so everything right. with we that kind of stuff. In the lunch room, in Arizona, in the lunch room, about to sign the practice, about to contract. And I, I, I'm standing there, they, my phone run. I asked your phone, you hear no one over there? I'm like, no, I did a GM call. I'm like, dang. So I, after I got phone to GM, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? They're like, leave. That's what they're <laughs> right. like, you just they, they just changed your life, leave. Good luck. Mm-hmm. Like, bet. I appreciate it. <laughs> Went and talked to the GM and them, told them thank you and stuff. And mm-hmm. I was out on the line. Yeah, so what was it like when you first got to Cleveland knowing that you about to start and you own the team and they want you? They got to be. It's different being traded, but when they want you, it's right. like, okay. We came and got you. So yeah. Right. At first, at first I, it, it really ain't. I really wasn't thinking like that. I'm just thinking like, I, I don't got money now. Like mm-hmm. I was just playing. Like I ain't had no like I had drive. I wanted to do it and whatnot, but I was just playing at first. But once I realized, like I wanted to play defense bad, mm-hmm. but like the starters not coming out in the NFL. So whoever starts, that's who's gonna play until somebody get hurt or something like that. Right. So I wanted to play defense so bad, but it was guys in front of me that were better than me. But I felt like I could do the same thing that they were doing. Mm-hmm. But I just had to wait my turn. And once I put that in my head, like. Shit, they want me to play special teams. That's what I'm gonna do. I play special teams. I'll be the best at it. Mm-hmm. And I just told myself I'll be the best at on special teams. And from the, in the last three years, I've been number number two, number three guy in the NFL on special teams. So, yeah. just keep that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what position? So what position do you play? I play nickel, okay. nickel and corner, but really nickel. So. Okay. Yeah. What's the difference? And do you have a preferred position? Preferred nickel to and play in the NFL. Oh yeah, nickel, mm-hmm. nickel. So the difference is, on a corner you out on the island by yourself, mm-hmm. and you ain't really got to tackle that much. Mm-hmm. But nickel, you in the box like a linebacker, you got to tackle and cover the fast slots and all that. So I like being in the box because I like tackling. So, okay. so you know, like, outside of high school, you never went back <laughs> to that quarterback role. Nobody ever. <laughs> Saw the tape with the four like, throw the ball one time. I be, I be trying to tell the coaches, like, I got all that in the NFL. To this day, I still be telling them, I, got, I can do whatever you do. All that. I can throw, okay. I can run, catch. I can you do still practice it every now and again? Yeah. What? Okay. Every day. Monday through Friday. Go to training. Every, Monday through Friday. Okay. Dope, Get it in. Right. All right, so you spent some time in Cleveland. What's your... Personal, your your best game, your most memorable game. Would it be the first? No. Okay. Because I, I had like one tackle that game on kickoff and punch and stuff. <laughs> I was just so happy just to be there. I wouldn't even worry about it. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, your most memorable game then. Including. It got to be the Cowboys. Okay. I played the Cowboys last year. And out of like nine special teams players, I had seven tackles. Mm-hmm. Out of nine of them. So it was like, okay. after that, I was you getting triple team after you that. <laughs> <laughs> they trying to kill me. Okay. So, yeah, that game right there. And then I played defense, too. And I balled out on defense that game. So, yeah. yeah so, they got to feel good to know they triple when you not. Like, I'm oh, that yeah. good. They got to. This one I but, knew I was good. I was good at it. Mm-hmm. After game, after every game, of, in my last two years, the special team coach came up to me. The, op- the opposing special team coach. Like, you're a great dude. We have to. Game plan against you every week. And after that, I'm out here. Okay, they watch you. They watch you. Stop. you like, we get it. But they yeah, always been watching you. Like uh-huh. you said, even up here, right. just watching your mans and them like they yeah. were watching you. You know what I'm saying? And everybody wanted right. you. So you had the choice. Like, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's just like destiny right there. Like, it don't even <laughs> line up more. Mo, right. You know what I'm saying? Just keep getting yeah. better. Yeah. Like right that. here. Just keep that's getting better. Smooth. And that grind, though. I'm going to yeah. hit the Pro Bowl. It's just. I keep getting snug, I feel like, two years in a row. You just said number two, like, yeah, that you won in two. And but the guy, that keep, the guy that kept going in front of me, um, 
Slater, he been in, in the league like 13 years. He plays special like, teams. Like, like he's he real good. Yeah, he like yeah, yeah. he legit good. Mm-hmm. And that's like why you said, the starters and the like, veterans. Yeah. You know, it's kind of hard to bump them out of their spaces anyway. So Especially when they do the same thing each and every year. Like, you do yeah. the and same thing every year. They definitely perform at a high, mm-hmm. at a high rate. At that age and still yeah. doing that, he deserves it. But this year, I'm coming for you. Dr. Oh, Slater, man. I'm coming for you. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let, let him know. Let him know. Yeah, turn up on me. Spot, like, because like, I personally seen, you you know what I'm saying, give yeah, Lamar Jackson the first second of the season last year. Ooh, yeah. that you know what I'm How do them hits feel of them big plays? When like, I made that, because that was my first game starting, too. Man. Okay. Man, that was the greatest feeling in the world. The second <laughs> MVP, like, Lamar is... It's not easy. To That's my team, yeah. too. If anybody know Baltimore yeah, and Pittsburgh, yeah, that's my team. He is a girl. Woo, 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 woo. He's all family. You didn't so, get hey. the sex, but it's like... But I had a little help. He, he yeah. seen Miles Garrett coming up the field. And mm-hmm. he looking at Miles, and I come straight like a bat out of him. Mm. I'm coming. I know that felt super good. <laughs> yeah. Also hype. So hype. Okay. Yeah, Wow. How you celebrate at the games like that? Like when I tackle somebody or something, mm-hmm. somebody, mm-hmm. I just put the muscles on them. You feel? <laughs> let them know. <laughs> let them know. Yeah, just let them know. Yeah. You were laid out by me. <laughs> but yeah, let's go. That's what's up. Yeah. Big exciting play. What about them interceptions? Like how? Like yeah. you just it's just see, split second. Like, get the hell on or what? Like see, I still ain't caught one in the NFL yet. Okay. I had to, I really ain't had the opportunity. I got my hands on one yet. Well, mm-hmm. I got my hands on one, but I I went up with one hand instead of two of them. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. <laughs> but the college that junk. Once you catch one, they gonna keep coming. So all I'm looking for is one. Okay. In the NFL. Once I catch <laughs> one, they gonna keep coming. Okay. It's like it feel like the same stuff I went through in college. Mm-hmm. It feel like I'm. Doing that job in the NFL, like I had to work my way all the way up. Mm-hmm. So going into my third year now, mm-hmm. like I was first team, I was first team all conference, mm-hmm. two years in a row in in, in college. Mm-hmm. I was Pro Bowl eligible two years in a row in the NFL. So it did the next year. This is your that, second and third. It's, it's in your second and third season. Yeah, okay. and the same way in high in, in college, mm-hmm. in second and third season, my sophomore and junior year. Mm-hmm. So this is your year. It feel, it feel like it's about to be my season. year. You know what I'm saying? Year. Okay. Junior yeah. year, this is what it feel like. It's about to be yeah. my year. Okay. Freshman year, work my way up, just like first year in NFL, work my way up. Mm-hmm. Sophomore year, did better. My second year in NFL, did better. Mm-hmm. Third year, did awesome. Right. Well, well, now you about to get the chance to do that in a whole new spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They done. Yeah. So, oh, how, how, how did you get to Texas? Is this free agency? Is it a trade? What's it going on? It was free on? agency. So, like, um, I was on <laughs> my last year of my contract with the Browns. I signed a three-year contract as a rookie. Okay. And the Browns, like, the salary cap dropped or whatnot, and they got a lot of guys there that they're paying already, like Miles and Miles Denzel, and Baker, all those guys, Odell, Juice. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, um, they wanted to do what was best for me and them. Like, okay. Right. Financially wise, so they feel like they, I guess they couldn't pay me what I deserve or not, so they let me walk. Mm-hmm. They gave another team opportunity to sign me. Houston gave me that opportunity, so bless. Just really so do you have to go through the tryouts and all of that for those teams, or when the free agency just open up, it's just they know I'm out yeah. there. So yeah, just, when free agency I'm, opens up, you just wait for your phone call. Just wait for phone call. call. So I couldn't get signed until like it was a couple weeks. After free agency, because the Browns could have still tendered me mm-hmm. or whatever and signed me for one year, but they ended up letting me walk. And then you mm-hmm. got to negotiate. My agent, mm-hmm. Justin Beverline, was Sports Five agency. He, okay. He's an animal. That's got to fact. negotiate it. Got my first year guaranteed. So this year guaranteed. Then next year, we go and do what I've been doing. Right. Then after that, big contract coming up again. So. Okay. Yeah. You know, tell them what might be different now over here and they play schemes yep, and yep. all of that. How's so it, that'd be dope. How's it getting accustomed to new teams? Because, like, you you wasn't in Arizona too long before you went to Cleveland, right. but you've been in mm-hmm. Cleveland for a few seasons now. Mm-hmm. And right. now, you know what I'm saying, you're in a new mm-hmm. spot. With, with Texas, it's like <laughs> I got, like, out of the three years I was with Cleveland, Probably like ten of my teammates is on Texas now, so it's oh, okay. Like, so you like, move with some with the gang, gang, gang yeah. okay? Right. So we all together, so it's like it ain't that 
far different for real. Because oh, I'm with them. And then most of the guys I've been in league so long, like I know most of the guys that play my position. And then I'm there with my best friend. My best friend just signed with Houston too, Desmond King. So it's like we were him together. And I'm with all my dogs from Cleveland, so it's like it's okay. So that definitely make a problem. <laughs> it you feel way like home by yourself. Yeah, way. So, yeah, the the Arizona feel, like feel, feel more like by yourself. Yeah, I was by myself from Cleveland. Arizona. Yeah. Only people we was, I was real close with was like the rookies that I came in with. Okay. Yeah, we had to be close because we was all staying in the same hotel and all that. So yeah, but now I was like I'm a family. Like I'm with my best friend. I'm with my teammates who I was with for three years, so they like family to me. So it's like. It's all cool. That's what's up. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, you got any... Man, we, we need to know some of your favorite all-time players, man. We heard you Barry. say... Barry Dion. Barry, Barry, mm-hmm. Barry Dion. Who else I can You say? was a quarterback. Who was you modeling the, the throwing after? Who was your favorite QB? Mike Vick. <laughs> I was a running quarterback. I could throw, but I was trying to run. I was trying to score. Mike Vick. Tom Brady, who was, he's the GOAT. Mm-hmm. The greatest of all time. So you think the the run being the running quarterback like helped you set Lamar because you Yeah, because I know where he's gonna go. Right. I know where he's gonna go. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna tackle him. Right. You can only go you gonna look one way and go the other way. Mm-hmm. Cause that's what I used to do. I used to get people just like that. Bro. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See both sides of the field. Uh-huh. Cause you play both sides, basically. I can do that often, I'm telling you, coach. Put me on. Let him know. He can and it's a new all. coach, new opportunity. You hey, said, coach, coach, you can do it coach, all. Coach, I can do it all. I'm telling you. What you going to have to do is go to practice and just start throwing in a couple of times. Coach Ross, on special team, give me a fake, coach. I'm telling you. Uh, I'm going to score. He, I'm going to score. Let him know. <laughs> Let him do it all then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, that's dope, man. We, um, we really enjoy having you out here and Coming to kick it with us, and I'm definitely watching all the games. You know that. Um, What's your biggest hit? You feel biggest like, hit? Yeah. What game? Was that? Biggest hit. It had to be against. Uh, he's on the Browns now, but he was with the Rams at first. JoJo Knoxon was going against the Rams. He was a little slick ass motherfucker. <laughs> he was on per return. He was the return, and I was going down at gunner. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, killing the uh, defenders or whatnot, and I'm going down. As soon as he caught that boy on live TV, as soon as he caught it, <laughs> soon he caught it, I smacked him mm-hmm. and got up. You know, I threw a joy roll. You know, I, even, <laughs> I had to throw a joy roll, and I seen that junk on TV. Mm-hmm. That was one of the biggest hits, the biggest celebrations I ever had. Mm-hmm. Um, was playing. Who was playing? The Steelers. We were playing the Steelers last Damn, year. Damn, my team. You always yeah. going crazy. We were playing the Steelers last year in the playoffs. And, uh, you know, the Beatbox Challenge. Mm-hmm. And on live TV, on ESPN, the whole city of Detroit seemed to do the, beat, hit the, the Beatbox Challenge. <laughs> I was hitting that shit. So, yeah, that was the best. That was the best. All right. What was it like being in the playoff game, though? <sighs> that shit different. That shit different. It's a different feel. Yeah, that shit different. The crowd different. Every play is different. Like everybody is going 100 percent every play. Mm-hmm. They're trying to make a play to win every play. So like that first experience being in, in, in the playoffs, getting to the second round, it was cool as hell. And then we had we played <laughs> Patrick Mahomes. He one of the best. He one of the greatest. Right. He's going to be one of the greatest ever. Yeah, that was a good game too. That was yeah. a good game. The Browns gonna get him back this year. I feel like mm-hmm. they played their first game of the year. Browns versus Chiefs. That's gonna be a okay. good game to watch. But. Mm-hmm. They ain't get you now, so it might, they might have fell <laughs> off a little bit. Star starstruck yet by any anybody on the field? Like, dog, that's oh, big. Or, you know what I'm saying? That's... So when I first got to Cleveland, when I first got to Cleveland, I seen Jarvis Landry. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then the next year, Odell Beckham come. I'm right, checking him every day. Every day. Right. Him every day. <laughs> he just gave me better. Every day, and like right. I had, like we got real close. Yeah, like, that's my one point. of the, wa- the mm-hmm. best at the, the time. Best. Like right, right. Yes. right. So, so like I'm checking him every day. That's, that's one good. of my dogs. I call him to this day. He do whatever for me. That's, that's my dog. And then one time we was playing in Houston. We was playing the Texans. Oh wow. You know, <laughs> we were playing the Texans, and JJ Watt going off the field. And I'm coming on for punt. I'm coming on for punt. JJ Watt going off. I stopped him. 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 I stop
<laughs> Bro, I used to look up to you. He said, good shit. Well, good shit. Gave me a five and shit. Yeah, I don't have these help. Right yeah. there. That's what's up. It's, I still get starstruck by certain people. Mm-hmm. It all depends. No matter how long you've been in the league and stuff. Yeah, man. Some people see somebody mean that see, to you. Yeah. Like Tom Brady. I seen Tom Brady. Mm-hmm. Crazy. How was it seeing yourself in Madden, bro? Like, I'm talking about from kids playing this game and not in the seen, game. When bro. I first seen myself in the game, that shit was so crazy. <laughs> like, so crazy. Right, right. Like, this is mad. Like, I can't believe I it. I can't believe I'm a man. This ain't a creative player either. This is me. Right. And then I started and got my, my rating all the way down. <laughs> right. Come from D2, I wasn't drafted, so your rating not going to be up. My speed up. Your speed is Yeah, your speed is yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know I'm starting myself every time. Mm, right. <laughs> yeah, and I'm yeah. catching interceptions. And I put myself mm, every turn mm, and all that mm. type of stuff. So, yeah. But that just an amazing feeling, though. Just a humbling mm. experience once you get there. So. Uh, any advice to any other kids, though, coming up? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, other shit. areas like yours. You know what I'm saying? We all from the D. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This is whatever you want to like. Here, whatever you want to like. Just work at it. Keep God first. Don't let nobody put limitations on what you can do in life. Man. You'll be straight. Just work hard. Pray every day. And just keep your head down. And if that's what God got for you, that's what's going to happen for you. Just like it happened for me. Hey man, I want you to uh, shout out the Magic Life for giving man. Let the, oh, yeah. let the people know what's up with you. I got a uh, foundation. I just started my foundation, my LLC, with Magic Life for giving. Be giving back to a lot of organizations or whatnot. And doing camps. I got my first camp gonna be coming up. I can't say the date yet because we still trying to figure out with COVID or whatnot. But mm-hmm. my first camp gonna be this summer. So oh, that's dope. We'll get that together. Everything gonna be free for the kids and stuff. So yeah, we're just giving back. Every every Christmas I give back. I probably I don't even know how much money I spend yeah, on this. families. Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, I do something every year since I've been in the NFL. So we gotta yeah, keep going with that. Dope, right yeah. If there's anything we can ever do, or yeah. uh, we'll definitely promote that all day. Anything positive, we that's what we all about positivity. We definitely sure. appreciate you taking time out your day, yeah. coming to holler at us. I know you busy and all of that, so right. you gotta know. get back to smacking niggas around right. the field. You know what I'm saying? Right. This right. a right. long right. way from here to Houston, man. So we yeah. gonna let you get up out of here, man. Uncle We're Show, definitely. Uncle Juan, man. We get up with y'all. y'all have Uncle Juan, man. Got my dog Black Magic, man. Down in the wall, fool. Appreciate you, man. Big on TV, man. Y'all see it. Oh. Big on podcast, you feel me? They doing a video around here.